Let's get your highlights now of Donald Trump's speech, the first time he's spoken since the assassination attempt on his life. He spoke at the Republican National Convention, where he first went ahead and accepted uh, that he will be, in fact, the presidential candidate of the Republicans. He recounted the harrowing experience of having bullets fired at him, including a shot aimed directly at his head. And Trump expressed gratitude for being alive, attributing his survival to nothing but godly intervention. And we saw a very different side of Trump in that particular speech. Uh, it was emotional, and during his speech, he also approached a fire jacket and helmet belonging to a victim, Corey, the man who was fatally shot at the Pennsylvania rally. He kissed the helmet, eliciting applause from the crowd. Trump's speech also included sharp attacks on President Joe Biden, labeling him as incompetent and claiming that Biden has caused more damage to the U.S. than the top 10 worst presidents combined. Trump promised to restore peace in the world, end horrible wars and address the nation's decline. Let's listen into some of the highlights of his address. I began speaking very strongly, powerfully and happily because I was discussing the great job my administration did on immigration at the southern border. We were very proud of it. <laughs> Behind me and to the right was a large screen that was displaying a chart of border crossings under my leadership. The numbers were absolutely amazing. In order to see the chart, I started to, like this, turn to my right and was ready to begin a little bit further turn, which I'm very lucky I didn't do, when I heard a loud whizzing sound and felt something hit me really, really hard on my right ear. I said to myself, wow, what was that? It can only be a bullet. And moved my right hand to my ear, brought it down. My hand was covered with blood, just absolutely blood all over the place. I immediately knew it was very serious that we were under attack. And in one movement proceeded to drop to the ground. Bullets were continuing to fly as very brave Secret Service agents rushed to the stage, and they really did. They rushed to the stage. These are great people at great risk, I will tell you, and pounced on top of me so that I would be protected. There was blood pouring everywhere, and yet, in a certain way, I felt very safe because I had God on my side. Let me begin this evening by expressing my gratitude to the American people for your outpouring of love and support following the assassination attempt at my rally on Saturday. As you already know, the assassin's bullet came within a quarter of an inch of taking my life. So many people have asked me, what happened? Tell us what happened, please. And therefore, I will tell you exactly what happened. And you'll never hear it from me a second time because it's actually too painful to tell.